Sometimes we like to summarize Joe's journey from Joe Pagan to the Apostle Paul as something we call the three laws of church growth. Now, what the three laws of church growth is just taking the Great Commission journey of Joe's and chopping it up into three bite-sized chunks so we can sort of get our mind around it a little bit more easy. We call them laws because if your church does this, your church will grow. But we also call them laws because if your church isn't growing as fast as you'd like, you can use these as a very effective diagnostic tool to see well, where the problem might be in Joe's journey. So what are these three laws? They're really simple and easy to remember. Law number one, invite lots of people. Law number two, don't suck. Law number three, have people make friends. People need to be invited here. They need to have a positive experience and meet Jesus, and then they need to make friends and be discipled. Discipleship and friendship go hand in hand. I don't know if you've ever noticed this reading the Gospels, but Jesus actually knew the disciples. He called them his friends. They hung out together, they went on road trips together, they had barbecue together, they went water skiing once, Peter did. Jesus discipled the disciples within the context of relationship. So we need to understand, we need to invite people, not suck, and then have those people make friends. Now as a diagnostic tool, sometimes I have pastors that come to me and say, John, we never get any first time visitors here. Well, okay, well that tells us our problem is we're not inviting people. People don't know that we exist, they don't have a reason to care, they don't know about us, that's not appealing, our people aren't inviting. That's a problem to solve. Other pastors say, no, John, uh, we do get a steady trickle of first-time visitors. They come once, and then they never come back. Well, that means your Sunday morning sucks. Now, I don't know what's going wrong. It could be a whole bunch of things. Maybe your building is really filthy, and there's dead flies and all the light fixtures, and like the place is gross. Maybe you've got grumpy greeters who don't make people feel welcome, or your people are really friendly to themselves but not friendly to anybody else, or your music is terrible or confusing, or your preaching is terrible or confusing. It could be a number of different things, but you need to understand when a first time visitor comes, they're hoping something good will happen. Even the atheist who got dragged here is hoping something positive is going to happen. And if they come once and they never come again, something positive didn't happen. More negative things happen than positive things. Still other pastors say, no, 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 John. We have a steady trickle of first time visitors and they do come back and they stick around for one month, two months, maybe even three months and then they all drift away. Well, that means the problem is they're not making friends. You might have a friendly church, but it's not good enough to be friendly. You have to make friends. These people who are drifting off didn't make friends. They're not plugged into serving. They're not plugged into small groups. They don't feel that there's people who know them and love them and care for them. That's where the problem is. Now, for food for thought, in your own specific church, which of those three primary diagnostic outcomes most applies to your church? No first time visitors? Visitors who come once and never come back? or visitors that drift off after a few Sundays. What is the primary issue at your church? And then, just brainstorming initially, what are some ways you think your church could fix that problem?